All right, y'all, so this week's research spotlight kind of touched on it uh, in yesterday's video for the quote of the week because the quote of the week is right at the top of this article. So the article is Sticks and Stones, the Impact of Language in Musculoskeletal Rehab. It's from 2018, and I loved this article. Um, it talks about language and how language is important, which if you watched the video yesterday on the quote of the week, pretty much explains my thoughts on that uh, quote and a little bit about what the article goes into. But to explain it a little bit more, the article just really talks about how our language as healthcare practitioners really, truly impacts our patients and their perceptions on pain, their perceptions on their body, their and their ability to cope with their injury that they're coming to see us with. And in this case, they talk about uh, musculoskeletal injuries. Uh, an example they use is they have a younger high school athlete who is told he has degenerative discs. And he has a grandfather who has degenerative discs and um, knows has a long-term issues with that. So immediately, this athlete that they uh, use for their story, you know, conceptualizes and internalizes that into a negative connotation of what the healthcare practitioner was saying. And they, you know, are looking up resources and they see that surgery is an option. So then this uh, particular athlete thinks surgery and they think they're definitely going to have to get surgery all because the the term degenerative disc was used and although that term is you know pathophysiologically maybe correct there's other ways that we can explain that to patients or word that to patients so that we're still telling them the truth and we're not dancing around it but that we're better educating them and better um, setting them up for success by allowing our words to change their perceptions so maybe you know instead of degenerative disc that it's a, a tissue changes associated with aging and that are very common because degeneration of discs is common uh, particularly with people who are aging and maybe his is just happening a little bit earlier maybe it's because of uh, the sports that he's playing um, and one thing it talked about too is that because he is already um, fearful of this condition because he, of what he's seen with his grandfather his, uh, his brain is automatically going to go into a thought pattern of reinforcing his own ideas and conception. So when he sees surgery, although that's like not a very common intervention for somebody in his shoes, his brain automatically is going to go to that because it wants to reinforce the idea that he has in his head. And uh, that kind of follows along with some things about emotional perception and just general uh, cognitive psychology, at least from things that I've read and, and listened to through podcasts and things like that. I'm by no means an expert on that. I just have done some looking into it and listening to a lot of podcasts and reading some books about it. Um, but it really goes on to talk about how it's our job as uh, healthcare practitioners, especially as physical therapists, to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with patients to be very cognizant of the impact that our words can have on patients and to maybe take a step back and think about what's going on. Think about how I can reword something to be less fear invoking or less uh, um, maybe pathoanatomically, uh, less pathoanatomically scary, I guess would be the best way to put it. So, um, you know, you hear patients all the time with arthritis say bone on bone. Well, that's like a scary thought is our bone is bone on bone. It's going to be painful when you know maybe it's just a typical tissue change so it's a great article it talks about uh, musculoskeletal injuries and kind of how to use language around those types of injuries doesn't get into the neuro population but that's okay because i think these concepts and, and uh, ideas can really translate well into the neuro population um, which i'm a little bit more passionate about especially with their di diagnoses maybe being a little bit more life altering at time of onset you know uh, just because it might be a stroke or a spinal cord injury or something that's a little bit more life-changing than, than back pain. Um, I'm sure some people could argue against that. but um, So I think it's important that we, as people who are in neuro, like myself, also take this uh, information into consideration. So that's this week's article. Hopefully you uh, read it and get a chance to you know, maybe change some, some of the ways that you explain things to patients and slow down a, a second and think about what... Uh, your wording is going to be because it has an impact. And uh, again, as I mentioned in yesterday's uh, quote of the week video, this does kind of touch on some of the ideas that uh, Dr. Tim Reynolds and I talked about in the first uh, A Beer and a Thought podcast with Dr. Rip. 
it's kind of a new thing I'm trying to start get get uh, guests on bi-weekly or so and uh, see if we can't get to sharing some more ideas and and educating people on uh, things that other people are doing because I think everyone has something you need to offer and um, the more we can talk about things and share ideas the more we can help change lives and and make the world a better place so that's this week's research spotlight thanks for watching